Hi everyone, welcome to Vedantu J English. I'm Diksha Kaushal, your chemistry master teacher. And guys, I really, really hope so that your preparation of J 2025 mains is going really, really good because we are giving a hundred percent. We are collecting all what you need for J mains 2025 first attempt, right? So cut short to the main part of this particular session, right? Because I don't want to waste even a single minute of you, right? So directly, I'm going to tell you what is this session about, right? So, just like we competed in organic in two days, right, that is very beneficial for those students who want to revise things and even for those students who are like, ma'am, I am not able to recall anything or ma'am, maybe I have not done that much hard work till now, but now, right now I want to do the hard work, right. So, now I am going to start the series for organic chemistry, right. So, five days is perfect for organic chemistry at this point of time, but for that, you need full 100% dedication, right? So now, how we are going to do that? Guys, first thing, if you really want to score full marks in organic chemistry, yes, I know you are very scared of that. You are like, ma'am, these questions are now, I'm not able to tackle with the questions of organic chemistry. But you know what? In your JE, chemistry is going to give you the marks. Yes, chemistry is going to give you, it is going to pull up your rank here. Right, so chemistry is very important subject and it's very easy also. It's not like very high level of questions are asked. Even from organic chemistry, if you follow the right path, you can definitely score full marks. So I'll tell you how to do that, right? So first thing is, in organic chemistry, we are going to focus on GOC, right? So now I have split it up into five parts, right? And that part is like this, because basically students, you know, in the end of the day, we need to learn the reactions. Right, we reaction should be on our tips. GOC should be on our tip. Isomerism should be on our tips. If these three sections you are good in, that means you are good to go. You will score full marks in organic chemistry. Right, but how to do this, ma'am? What is the sequence? Before the sequence, you need to know two things here. Now, what are the important things about organic chemistry? First thing is GOC and isomerism. That forms the base of organic chemistry. Base means you will directly get around 10 to 11 or I would say 8 to 9 questions directly from GOC plus isomerism. GOC itself will give you around 6 to 7 questions easily, right? And isomerism easily can give you 3 to 4 questions, right? Okay, so GOC plus isomerism is very, very important, right? Next is if you talk about general reactions here, right? So in general reactions, there are two sets of reactions. One is naming reaction, which has a specific name, right? Other is your important reagents, which doesn't have a specific name, but they are frequently asked in your previous year questions, right? So now, again, the question is asked, ma'am, the mechanisms are important or not. So guys, yes, if you're just, if you're aiming for J means, right? Even J advance, right? You need to know the mechanisms as well. But ma'am, do I need to cram the mechanism? No, you just need to understand the mechanism that in this mechanism, which thing is happening? Okay, in this mechanism, carbocation is getting formed. Okay, in this mechanism, this is a free radical mechanism. Okay, this is SN1, this is SN2 mechanism. Like this, you need to have an idea about what all this mechanism is about, right? So base, we will see that how based on mechanism the questions are asked okay so now dividing it into five parts right the first part the first day is the first day is GOC right so guys those who have not watched it yet I have completed GOC here right in that I also also show you the lectures right that where is day one day two day three right so in the first day we have already completed GOC right Already we have completed all the electromeric effect, the theory part, the concepts, the previous year questions, right? Most repeated previous year questions I have taken up, right? So if you watch this particular session of GOC, yes, you are sorted for GOC because I have covered everything there, right? Every, each and everything there I have covered, right? Now, next is day two. Now this we have already done. We are left with, we are left with this, we have already done. We are left with these four days. We are left with these four days. As, as you all know, I also asked you 
yesterday that do you want to compete organic chemistry with me or not so students said around 400 students said that yes ma'am we want to compete organic chemistry with you so i thought why not why not to do full organic chemistry here right earlier i was thinking just to do goc and isomerism then i thought let's do full organic chemistry here in 5 days right because i have the experience so that i can save your time that's why i am here right now second day that is today right at 6 pm today at 6 pm we are going to cover isomerism in this we will cover structural isomerism tautomerism from where a lot of questions are asked a lot of questions are asked geometrical isomerism a lot of questions are again asked on that then we will also cover optical isomerism how to how to calculate geometrical isomerism structural isomerism stereo isomerism right how to calculate optical isomerism right these kind of questions they ask you we will also cover rl uh, rs and dl configuration right we will also cover confirmers of alkene from also the questions are asked right so all this will come under isomerism so now ma'am you are only going to give concepts here ma'am no previous year questions no i am also going to solve previous year questions along with you we will solve the previous year questions that is why only see if you talk about every subject there is a specific way of studying that subject for chemistry especially for organic chemistry when you are reading the theory it's not a theory right basically theory is itself questions so when i'll be teaching you theory of isomerism even in goc i taught you goc with the help of questions only so isomerism also we will learn that with the help of examples with the help of questions so that maybe those same questions will be in your je means and those same questions will be asked right okay now this is your day 2 right at 6 pm today now every day this is going to happen at 6 pm only the time is going to be 6 pm right the time is going to be 6 pm now ma'am what are the days here right so i'll just tell you the days here so that you can note down let me just open the calendar here right so i can also write down the uh, dates right now guys today 19th we are going to have isomerism at 6 pm then on sunday right on sunday and those students who have not watched goc guys please before sunday watch goc because you are not see isomerism and goc are not interrelated to each other right we will not study any goc concept any electromeric effect today in isomerism we will not study anything like that but this goc is directly related to naming reaction it is directly related to reagent it is directly related to these charts right so that is why today i have picked up isomerism so that i can give you the time two days i am giving you to see goc right question yourself that are you like able to solve goc question or not practice it yourself also if you watch this lecture that will be enough for you after this on sunday that is 22nd we are going to complete name reactions each and every name reaction of your je will be completed over here and the previous year questions of name reactions also we will pick up right next is reagents right this i will take on 24th that is tuesday this is on sunday this is on tuesday again i am giving you one day for relaxation for your revision right see if you revise goc then you will understand name reaction if you revise goc and name reaction then you will understand reagent and the last the last session here very very important that is charts and chains basically i am going to revise all the chapters here all the reactions everything in the form of flow charts in the form of uh, chain reactions sequence uh, sequential reactions you would say right for example they have given a to b b to c c to d d to e d to e f to g right what is g these kind of questions they ask you in your je right so that is why last 20 that will happen on 20 basically 26th right after your christmas on 26th right we will study all the charts all the chains everything but 
for this particular session guys this is in sequence okay if you say that ma'am i will skip this you won't be able to understand name reactions right if you skip this you won't be able to understand reagents okay that's not possible this is this is actually that's why students find organic chemistry so tough because they don't study that in sequence right so now after this the uh, result the conclusion of these four lectures we will do over here right conclusion means we will do the application of whatever we have studied here right the tough the higher order thinking questions also we will do here right okay so that is going to be your challenge right after completing these four days fifth day i am not just going to leave you that do practice yourself definitely we are going to do very interesting very interesting practice questions big flow charts will be there from 2 to 3 4 flow charts we will understand one chapter right this is how we are going to complete organic chemistry and trust me on that if you do organic chemistry this way you will save a lot of time and you will find organic chemistry very easy right because it's like so many reactions are here and there we just need to combine all of them together and then solve these things right so i'll also give you some tricks to learn the naming reactions because i know it's tough to learn the reagent and the name of that reaction right so we will also learn some tricks some mnemonics how to remember that in the exam right so these five days are very 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 important today at 6 pm we are going to do isomerism right don't miss this lecture don't don't miss this lecture you will see simple right okay and it has no relation with name reaction or reagent or goc that is why i am saying that start from today only isomerism then after that tomorrow or maybe on saturday you can watch goc two days will be completed then we will do, go with these three days which are going to be extremely crucial for you okay guys i hope so that is clear to all of you right okay uh yeah chal okay ma'am ji wants this organic series do some pvc can i crack organic problems definitely that's why this series is like that only trust me on that if you do this series right if you do this series you will get full marks right reason is why i am saying that because in the series only you will get so many things right so many things will be there but they are combined in such a way that will make it easy for you to remember right okay when you study individual chapters right we tend to forget a lot of things but when we study organic chemistry like this it becomes really really simple right so if you like religiously follow this thing i can guarantee you will get good marks right but if you skip even one day and here i am talking about live sessions why live sessions guys because if you watch this recorded you will miss on something you will say ma'am i'll watch this at 2x so at 2x whatever i am speaking right every single line will be important here right and here in this session i don't want any of you to say that ma'am when the lecture will end ma'am how many hours ma'am guys five days organic chemistry do you think one hour lecture will be there that to i am then to i am lying to you then to i am totally lying to you if i am saying that five days one uh, one hour every day you will complete organic chemistry not possible yes the lecture are going to be 3 4 hours yes but in those 3 4 hours we are going to do previous year questions as well concepts as well i'll be thinking that you guys know nothing and i'll be also taking care of those students who don't want to waste their time on the concept so that is why pre written notes will be there so that those students who already know the concept they can revise it and those student who don't know the concept it will be easy for them to know the concept and after that jump to the previous year question so this is going to be beneficial for all of you okay yes okay then students uh, bye bye take care see you all in the next class that is going to be at 6 pm see you all and i want all of you to be live there and present there Bye bye see you